It is looking more and more as if the stage is set for a superstorm in the Northeast with high winds, heavy rain, and even snow. Hurricane Sandy is already blamed for at least 21 deaths in the Caribbean. David Bernard is chief meteorologist for our Miami station. That would be CBS4. He's watching Sandy very closely. David, what's happening with the storm right now? Good morning, Gail. We have the new advisory that just came in from the National Hurricane Center. Let's get to that. And the winds are about where they were before, 80 miles per hour. It's a Category 1 storm. Uh, one key difference is the movement is a lot slower. It's only moving to the northwest at about 10 miles per hour. That's about 480. 80 miles south southeast of Charleston, but it's going to parallel the coast for the next 48 hours or so. And then as we go into Sunday night and early Monday and then Monday night and Tuesday morning, that's when we're expecting that bend to the west and the northwest that could bring it into portions of the mid Atlantic or say the Jersey shoreline, maybe as far north even uh, is Long Island. Here's a look at the computer models and they're in pretty good agreement of what we think is going to happen in line with what the Hurricane Center thinks. There aren't many of the computer models showing different solutions. You know, earlier in the week, we had about half of them saying that might head out to sea, and it doesn't look like that option uh, is going to be the case. Now, as far as what we can actually expect, these are the general possibilities. A lot's going to tend on the strength of the storm and the location, but coastal flooding is a major concern anywhere from the mid-Atlantic all the way into coastal portions of New England and well inland in those higher elevations, mountains of Virginia, West Virginia and Pennsylvania. We could be looking at a lot of snow and on top of that with the wind and even the snow on the inland areas, power outages, I imagine are going to be a problem as well. But until we see how strong the storm is going to be and exactly where it goes, we can't be too specific about uh, what the outcomes could be. We are all watching. Thank you, David Bernard.